Jimmy at the White County Public Library workshop again this morning. Uh, today we're going to be working with doing a hanging basket. It's the time that we need to get some flowers out on our patios and uh, uh, into our garages or something. So we're going to be working with some hanging baskets. Now these are going to be made with the uh, silk flower so we don't have to worry about watering them. First thing you'll need is a hanging basket. You can choose any size that you want and some bushes with the flowers. You'll have to cut these off, get you some good snips, and that's the only thing you're gonna need with this, uh, with this project is some good snips. And just go ahead and cut these off. Uh, what you need to do is choose the, uh, the basic flower and make that your largest flower. Concentrate on it because that will determine the size of your of your basket. Go ahead and find one and center it in there. Push it down to where it will go under the hanger. And by the way, the uh, the basket will need some styrofoam in it. So uh, if you find that you've cut these a little long, then all you have to do is get your snips and cut them off and start forming. So now I'm going to form the size that it's going to be as far as the di diameter. I have chosen the Shasta Daisies in the Light Orchid, which is a good color for spring, and it will last right on through summer. Once I get those in there, then we're going to start doing a little bit of filling. So we have a little bit of green right here that I'm going to start adding. We'll let this go in over here and hang down a little bit. Put another one on the other side. And you don't have to be too particular with this because uh, once it gets filled up, filled up it's, it's going to look pretty uniform. Okay, now once you get your basics, then you're going to fill out, and I have chosen a bush here that has the pinks and the uh, uh, purples and orchids in it, so now we're going to start filling in with that. So you don't have any, as I've always said with crafts, you know it's how you want it, it's not how it's supposed to be done. along in there to add a little bit of color. And you'd be surprised how fast it will fill up and start looking like a, one that has been grown for years. But we go continue adding and as you can see it's filling up pretty well. You can just turn it around and see spots to where you need to put one in. And it's uh, it's like growing flowers outside, you know, you you never see them growing perfectly. They, they, uh, they have their own way of growing where they want to grow, so that's the same way with, with doing, a, doing a basket. Uh, you just put it wherever you want to put it to make it look like what you want to make it look like. So once we have those, then we have some uh, colors, most all colors around. I'm going to add another little bush here that's got a little bit of pink in it to bring out the pink. So it's just a little filler bush and you can just put those anywhere you want to put in there. It makes it look a little bit different. And you can feel it as full as you want to fill it. So I like it real full because uh, I don't like to look in there and see the star foam or dirt or whatever you're putting it in. So that's about, about filled up. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the, uh, the sprigs that I have here off of a, a green bush and I'm going to make it look like they're coming out of the edge of the uh, container and hanging down. Okay, just bend them like this. Another one here that we can put back here. So I'm going to put a little bit of this here. 
like it's growing up in the uh, in the container to make it look a little real. So there we have a hanging basket with the orchids. Hope you get a great uh, looking basket to hang on your patio or hang in your um, uh, breezeway or something and uh, I hope you've enjoyed our segment of uh, the hanging baskets and like I said if you uh, do one at home be sure to send us a picture let us see what you're doing and until next time happy crafting